Hey YouTubers, Tush coming at you. 7.40 Tuesday night, January the 3rd. Back uh, having a look at the um, 59 TR3A. And uh, as you recall, my video from yesterday was me musing about what I was going to do as far as these pressings on the inside of the trunk panel. And I told you I'd think about it sleep on it so to speak and uh, a few of you guys who have watched this video have responded with uh, some ideas and some photos some links to websites etc so thanks for all that information guys it's really a cool uh, community when you think about it when you have all those guys uh, trying to give you a hand anyway one of my viewers and I think it's Dan that uh, mentioned this uh, Dan's restoring a TR2 and if it isn't Dan I'll put a notation in um, this video if I've got the name incorrect because I can't remember who made the suggestion but I think it's Dan he said do you have an old leaf spring hanging around maybe you can make a uh, a form from that so I'd watched a few videos last night on hammer forming I mentioned I said the word buck yesterday but apparently a buck is not the right terminology for this a buck is what you form metal around you don't actually hammer onto a buck you form metal around it it's more to to make a shape hammer forming is actually forming a piece of metal over a let's say let's call it a die so that can be made out of wood uh, fiberglass you know uh, metal aluminum whatever so the idea here is to cut a piece of this spring off and to actually make a hammer form out of it we're going to cut it off with a cutting wheel we're going to form it with a angle grinder and see if we can match the shape of that um, depression uh, in the floor pan it's actually an elevation on the top side and depression on the bottom side but you get the idea so we're going to experiment anyway and play around with this a little bit tonight I do have a plan B and the plan B is I've got actually a body tub in storage I've got a 1960 body tub in storage that's in pretty rough shape and the trunk uh, or the, the trunk pan is completely di different from the uh, the 59 versus the 60 so uh, the 60 actually has a raised rib section it doesn't look quite like this at all but I may be able to salvage something out of it either from that area or in front of the gas tank on the 60 is completely different than it is on the 59 and that area might be useful as well because it's also got the same style of ribbing as this trunk panel does so anyway that's sort of the plan B so anyway let's go back to plan A we'll play around I'll take some video and we'll see uh, what we get up to tonight alright guys sorry for the noise but uh, gonna take a while for that compressor to charge up but I thought I'd go ahead and start anyway so I've cut, a, cut that piece of the spring off and uh, it looks like it's going to be pretty much perfect so there's a etching or basically a tracing of the uh, of the raised part of the floor so if I take this piece here you can pretty much tell that the width is going to be just about right as far as that's concerned so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to obviously take an angle grinder and I'm going to start forming the end of this uh, metal to resemble that so uh, that will be the next step and I think what I want to probably do is put a little bit of an angle on the edges as well but uh, we're gonna get this piece cleaned up first of all and then we'll start shaping it all right guys we'll come back so we've just done a rough cutout of the shape you can see I've sort of traced on the end there the outline of the uh, hammer form and we've just cut off the edges with a cutting wheel and now we're gonna form it with a grinder all right, guys. Here's the uh, piece formed out, and the bevel, a little bit of bevel on the edge. So, I think we'll go ahead and give it a uh, a test run. We'll clamp up a metal piece to it, maybe on top of my small anvil, and we'll uh, see if we can uh, shape something. I don't have the proper mallet. I should probably have like a rubber or a plastic mallet to do this. So uh, we're probably going to get some hammer marks in the metal, but uh, if we can get the shape of it, I can always get a uh, a proper hammer. So. We'll give it a shot anyway, just for fun. Alright guys, here's the first attempt. It's not horrible. Um, you can see obviously where the clamp marks uh, were grabbing it in the center, so I'd probably have to put some wood blocks in there if I was to try this again, because I don't like those marks there. Although I could probably just 
do a little body work on the trunk if I wanted to. But anyway, the depression is there. So uh, let's see if it'll fit in the car, just for fun. All right, guys, there it is installed in the car, somewhat like it's going to be uh, if I was to do that sort of format. So I thought I'd just give you a quick look at that. Uh, obviously, this is just temporary. It's not. It's just a practice patch, so don't go crazy. So anyway, I thought I'd just give you a quick look at that. So anyway, it was interesting. It was, uh, like I said, just a trial. So we'll uh, do some more thinking, and uh, we'll come back to it at a later date.